quote I wanted to share with you today, an experience I had this morning. It looked terrible because I've been kind of uh, working all morning, moving into a different apartment, uh, the same location. But uh, I wanted to begin with, this, there's this girl, her, she, she's like the landlord's uh, receptionist or something like that. She kind of looks Latino or something. And uh, a couple of times I've been in there, her eyes kind of look blue. And uh, I noticed when I'd go out uh, one evening and come back in, and I'd see her the next day, and she'd be, she, she'd be wearing something similar to the attire I wore the day before or whenever she seen me or whatever. And uh, I just happened to notice a couple of days ago, her uh, eyes were green. I said, you know, you have really pretty eyes because they were almost the same color as mine. Even my hair is terrible. The heat. Um, it's kind of ironic. There's uh, the gamer Tara and this girl, I guess. I guess I should be ter any terrified, but anyway, uh, there was this morning, um, I was loading this uh, uh, dolly to move furniture up the street, and uh, I looked down and I seen this big old green pepper. I was thinking, why the hell is there a green pepper laying on my stoop, you know? So I bend over and I look at it and I make sure it's a pepper. It could have been something uh, something from a tree around falling off and somebody could have kicked it around or something. I was thinking, now that's a green pepper. and looks like somebody bit it in half or something of that nature. And uh, well, I went to the appointment to get the keys for this new, new apartment. And uh, I come out and I noticed I didn't talk to the receptionist I usually talk to. And uh, well, I left and I was loading the dolly and just look well, my maybe fourth or fifth trip from down the street. Uh, Tara comes out of the door and she has this like green dress on from top, you know, almost ankle length. And th this girl kind of reminds me of uh, Cat Graham. And I was thinking, you know, the, I kind of acknowledged her saying, Lord, Tara, that's a lot of green, you know. I was thinking because she had green eyes and I had green eyes. And I wanted to say something like, uh, you know, if my eyes weren't green already, you know, right now I look terrible because I've had my helmet on and this morning I didn't shave and I went and got, you know, began working. But, uh, I thought that was really, really ironic. I'm going to share you a picture, just so you know I'm not BSing you. First, I'm going to show you a picture of this. If I can find it. Thinking Microsoft is corrupting my MacBook like themes. Okay. I'm going to share my screen so you can see what I'm talking about. see the, the picture on the picture on the right is a picture of the pepper and the picture on the left is actually a picture of terror you can't see it because this didn't open up in quite exact quite the way I wanted it to 
Uh, but if you've seen Kat Graham's, uh, her, her video she did, uh, about, uh, oh, what was it? Dance or something. Can't remember exactly what it was, but she's doing kind of like, she's just dancing in a dance studio. And I was thinking one day, I know Kat Graham had kind of green eyes. And uh, they got the, about the same complexion, regardless of they go if, if one of them goes to a tanning bed and the other one doesn't. I was thinking it's kind of ironic because their hair is almost identical to to Cat Graham's in that that video, and I wouldn't. I'm not sure why she would uh, look exactly like Cat Graham or similar. Uh, you know, really gorgeous girl. I was thinking, you know, you could say hi when you notice all these things and they just keep going. And I'm wondering why the green pepper was there. I'm also wondering why I carried a, a Canada Dry bottle in the office this morning. And uh, actually, I left it there by accident. Just by chance, it was green. I'm sure if you realize the irony or the coincidence between all these different green objects. I mean, if you've ever watched uh, <laughs> Channel 3, Channel 3 does this dynamic thing from time to time. At least they used to when pot smoking was cool. They would show one thing green in one picture and then the paradigm in the next television show would pop up and there would be something relevant to the, the, the green thing in the meantime you were thinking green and you know you would follow this all through all these different television shows this green object and you were you could piece together like this idiotic uh, perception or, or something you know uh, from the things you observed and on channel three uh, channel three is kind of ironic. but uh I was thinking that's kind of ironic too. You know, there was a reason that green pepper was laying there, and there's a reason Tara was wearing green. And I was thinking maybe it could have been somebody implying something. But as you told, as I told you before, I'm at a point in my life where I don't give a shit if it's your wife, if you got a gun in my head. You know, considering I'm a garland, uh, I'll flirt with your wife. In a heartbeat, especially if she looks like Tara. Oh, that's another thing. Tara Babcock was was uh, she posted something that was kind of offensive, talking about smoking. She waited until the last minute, and, and this her recent video of drugs and alcohol or something and smoking, and she waited until the last minute to mention smoking cigarettes or something. But uh, and I plainly explained to her in her commentary. Uh, you know, I started smoking about three months ago, and I didn't smoke for 12 years before that. And for the most part, it doesn't really bother me. Peanut butter is the worst. Peanut butter is bad for you. Smoking might not be as bad if you're physically fit. But that's, that's also ironic. So uh, I thought I'd share that with you. Maybe I'll share the video from... Uh, of Cat Graham, just so just so you you have some vague perception of who she is. still here you'll have to wait just a second well I'm not actually I, the video isn't actually there so That's kind of ironic that the uh, video was among one of the top search. 
and now it totally isn't there. In this day and age, you don't want to fuck with Dean Garland. Dean Garland will fuck with your wife in public just to start a fight just because of his cynicism of people in general. Yeah, that's ironic. That video is not not here now for some odd reason. I guess it's one of those things people do. They like to give and take. They give and take as they please just to just to piss you off and see your reaction to you blow up. Like I said, if I'm in public and your wife looks good, I'm going to start fucking with people's wives and toting a gun. Just just so you get my fucking point. I, I think it I think t today's people have uh, influenced or invoked this this need of a fucking reality check. So. Uh, I'll be on my toes because I know you're obviously on yours. Till next time.